But first, let's talk testing. Those lines before the holidays were sometimes pretty long. Now that Christmas is done, you might want another test. John Henry is helping you plan ahead for that. He joins us live from Northwest from a testing site in Cleveland Park. John, good evening to you. Hey, Mike. Yeah, locals all across our region continue to look for rapid tests like these or drop off PCRs in locations like those. That holiday rush for testing has been hard to miss in our area and local health experts hope that practice remains in the days and weeks to come. There's still high demand for testing in the D.C. region. Um, everything just seems to be filled up. In some places, it's still hard to find a test. Uh, somebody else had told me that they had tried to schedule one other than today, and it was January 3rd. Luckily for Mac McKinsey, he was able to find an appointment for Monday through a private tester in Arlington. He said he wanted to get a test just in case. I mean, this can be really asymptomatic, and, uh, you know, you can end up giving it to somebody and not knowing. Many locals feel the same way, especially as the virus continues its rapid spread. These are how many cases were reported in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia between between the 23rd and 26th. DC health data shows one out of every 73 people in DC tested positive in those four days. So to keep up with all the testing demand stemming from concerns over Omicron spread, Loudoun County announced Monday it plans to hold two free COVID testing events for its residents this week. In Loudoun County and throughout our region, our numbers have gone up about 300% in terms of the percentage of tests that have come back positive just in the last couple of weeks. Loudoun Health Director Dr. David Goodfriend said it's important people continue to get tested when they return from travel and approach testing the same way they did before they went to see loved ones elsewhere. Testing is really critically important to help limit the impact of the virus. He says testing will become all the more important as students, some of whom recently traveled, begin to return to schools in our area. What we do know is over the last two weeks where we've had our biggest surge in cases, the school-aged children have been the number one group that's been getting diagnosed. So we have a lot of kids out there who are infected and they're due to come back to school, at least in Loudoun County, within a week. And Mike, Dr. Goodfriend adds he expects testing to re remain relatively strong here in our area because of those families with school-aged children. From Cleveland Park, John Henry, WUSA 9.